Good morning, I'm in Arizona. I'm fishing for Apache trout. This is a trout native only, I think it's only, to the state of Arizona. I have fished in Arizona a couple of times before, very briefly, for like 15 minutes each time. I've never caught anything here. So if I catch anything here, it'll be my first Arizona fish. And if I catch an Apache trout, it'll be my first, uh, my first Apache trout ever. So let's get to fishing. I am fishing the Tenkara Rod Company Yari rod with a 12 foot line and a green UV yarn Kabari with black stiff hackle and fluorescent green thread. This creek seems pretty shallow, pretty sterile too, but apparently there are fish in here. So there should be Apache trout in here. I'm actually not 100% positive that there are Apache trout in this stretch of this creek. They may be here, they may not be. I'm not entirely sure, so I don't know. Just gotta catch a fish and see what it is. Yeah, all these spots are super shallow. I need a, I need a deeper spot. That's where a fish is gonna be. I don't think fish are gonna be in super shallow sections in this particular stream. It always depends on the stream, of course. But this stream doesn't seem to be especially fishy, so we'll see. I'm not gonna lie, my expectations are low. I'm hoping to catch something, but I'm not expecting to catch anything. Fish on! What is it? Is it an Apache? No, it's not. It's a brown trout. Dang it. Brown trout are great and all, but it's not what I wanted to catch here today. Well, let's keep going. Fish on! Didn't mean to yank it up out of the water there. What is this? Is that, a, is that another brown trout? Yeah, that's another little brown trout. It's got the red spots on the sides. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe we're fishing just the wrong section of creek here. Well, we've caught two fish, not the target species, but at least the fly is working, at least I am finding fish. Presumably I'd, I'd, I would be catching Apaches if they were in here. I think this rod length is good, and this line length is good for this creek, so I'm firing on all cylinders here. I'm just not catching what I want to be catching. Push on. Oh, darn it. That was a better sized fish. You know, normally if I miss one fish, it's not a big deal at all. But when I'm desperately searching for one specific species, mixed in, I guess, among other species, then every fish counts, because every fish could be... Got one! Every fish could be the one. It's a brown trout. If I keep catching these, I think I'm gonna move on. Nice brown trout though. I'm gonna give it some more time, gonna catch maybe a couple more fish and then I might need to switch to a different section of a stream entirely. Got one. I 
That's a fat brown trout. Nice, chunky, but not what I want to catch. I fished for an hour and a half and caught four brown trout. Not knock your socks off fishing and obviously not the species I'm interested in. So I'm going to pack up. I'm going to hike back to the car. It'll take a while. I'm going to drive to the far upper reaches of this stream or at least drive to the area of the upper reaches of the stream, hike down into the canyon much higher up, and then hopefully we can get into some Apache trout up there. Cross your fingers for me and I'll see you in, I don't know, a couple hours maybe, <laughs> back on the stream several miles up. All right guys, two hours later, I'm back at the stream, several miles upstream. Looks smaller, looks better. Like this is, this looks like more productive fishing here, but guess we'll see. So Apache trout are kind of yellowish and they have dark spots on their backs and tail. And I'm stuck, second cast. But yeah, we're looking for fish with a nice golden color and spots on the back. I'm hoping the fish density is is higher up here now that we've gone upstream, but it's not seeming like it in these first several casts. I do like the size of this stream more though. There are fewer places for fish to hide. Right now I'm not too worried about spooking fish. I wouldn't mind spooking some fish just so I could see how many fish are in here, you know? So I'm keeping my eyes peeled as I walk upstream and I'll fish the juicy looking spots. I know a lot of you who watch my videos are also into fishing for native trout. Got one, whoa. Let's see here, what do we have? Are you kidding? That's a freaking brook trout. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, that's a little brook trout. I mean, that's a new species for Arizona for me. I've never caught a brook trout in Arizona, so, so far I've caught brook trout and brown trout in the state, but I'd really like that Apache. Okay, the stream has gotten significantly smaller and more overgrown. I'm gonna switch to a seven foot line on here. From this 11 foot line all the way down to seven foot. Okay, seven foot line is on here. Let's see if anything bites. In this really nice looking spot here. First pass through, nothing. Second pass through. Got one. No. No. That was not a brook trout. That was either a brown trout or an Apache. I couldn't tell, but it was that golden coloration. That was a decently sized fish too. Seven, eight, nine inches probably, somewhere in that range. It wasn't tiny. Oh man, I blew it. Got one. No! Oh my gosh. I feel sick. I was just dapping the fly. I thought there's probably a fish underneath the log here. So I was just dapping it and then the fly disappeared. And again, I was a little bit late on setting the hook. I'll tell you what, these fish are hiding and they are not giving themselves up easily.
Got one. Ah. What is it? Oh. Is that? Is that an Apache? I think that's an Apache. Oh, hallelujah. Again, I was just dapping the fly. I pulled this guy out. There's no cutthroat slash, but I mean, there's nothing else this could be. Certainly not a brown trout, certainly not a rainbow or a brook trout. And so I guess that's an Apache. Finally, took several hours <laughs> today to get this little guy, but better late than never. See ya, buddy. Okay, so I'm, again, I'm pretty sure that was an Apache trout. It didn't look like anything else I've caught. And like I mentioned earlier, that gold color with the black spots on the back, I mean, that's, that's what that was. So I'll put a picture on the screen here so you guys can better see it. I'm 90% certain it was, but there's about 10% of doubt in my mind. I don't know why I'm doubting, because I'm pretty sure, I don't know. Pretty sure that's what it was, but let's keep going. So dapping is the way to catch fish on this creek. That was, you see this, this log right here, this long one that goes all the way to the end? I was dapping right under the end of it. And there was a fish hanging out there apparently. If you didn't know, dapping the fly is basically just like extending your rod and placing the fly in the water. It's not very fancy, not a very fancy form of fishing, but obviously it works. Got one. That is a brook trout. Not what I wanted to see. Yeah, that brook trout was hiding underneath the, the grass on the far side and just darted out to grab the fly. All the fish in this creek are hiding. Fish on. That is a better Apache trout. And with this fish, I think I'm done because this, this seals it. This is definitely an Apache trout. I'm pretty sure that other one was too. But this one certainly is. Pretty fish, isn't it? Like I said, the colors of a brown trout, but definitely, I mean, very different spotting. Beautiful little fish. See ya, buddy. What a beautiful fish. All right, guys, we're done. We did it. We did it twice over. Well, that was quite the adventure. It took me half a day, but I eventually caught two, I think two, Apache trout. Really interesting looking trout, very unique looking fish. And in the process, I caught a couple other species. Brook trout and brown trout. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think it was worth the, uh, the effort we put in today. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next one.